So it's TSA week five, day three. Uh, and day three is actually only three exercises, which is squats, uh, a little bit lighter weight, more volume as compared to day, I think, one. So we have squats, then we have overhead press, and then we have some sort of accessory work. And today I think I'm going to be working in another uh, accessory, maybe close grip bench press, because the past two days we've gone into the gym. I've been in there a little bit later and haven't really had a chance to uh, perform any of the rows or close grip bench or anything else that was called for for the end of the day. It was just like the primary movement and the accessory movement to the primary without any um, other movements worked in for that day. So if I have enough time today, it's a little bit late. Got to make this intro a little short because it is dark as hell outside. It's about to pour. Uh, today is Friday. Getting to the gym about 8.30. Uh, and I love going to the gym on Friday nights because there was nobody there. Minimal interruptions. All the bars are open. And they're all for me. So... The programming, the prescription for squats today is 325 pounds for four sets of seven reps. Uh, and this was compared to day one this week, which was, I think it was 340 for five sets of five. Um, so that five set of five at 340 actually felt pretty darn good. Me and 325, that number is kind of specific to me. And the only reason why I say that is because my meat... Uh, in July of last year in Dayton, Ohio, um, which is the under, uh, the Dirty Gyms um, Summer Bash, uh, the programming that I did to peak for that meet was Candito's uh, Strength Program, which I think is a six-week program. It was kind of just a run-of-the-mill, like, what am I going to do for peaking? I don't really know. If I know what I know now, I wish I would have applied it back then. Uh, but one of the weeks in his peak program was 325 pound squats for a set of 10. And uh, if you were following me on YouTube or Instagram, this is how I felt about that. Yep, how many? Eight. Ah! Let's go. Let's go, one more. There you go. I do? Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Ass cracks wet. So that was kind of a hell week for me. Now, of course, things have changed. My max and my squat has gone up. But the only thing that's different is that back then, that was when I was at a lighter weight. So yeah, I bulked up. I went up into the 280s. I hit a 440 uh, squat in my last meet in December. But now I'm back on a cut. So I think 325 is going to be manageable, but it's still a little intimidating to me just in the back of my mind because of the Candido training um, pretty much about a year ago. So without further ado, here's how the training session is going to go tonight. going to try to get a footage of this entire day. What I wanted you guys to do if you are watching, um, number one, hit the like button if you enjoy this video. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. One of the things I have noticed is that most of the viewers that are actually watching these videos are not subscribers. Um, not that hard to hit the subscribe button. You don't even have to turn on the notifications. You'll never get bothered by me again. But if you hit the subscribe button, it does help my channel grow. Gets me out there, spread me out a little bit. Gets me a little more coverage, which I would appreciate and thank you deeply. Um, but do you guys want to see like individual days of training, which is going to make me pump out more videos through a week, but they might be more boring because it's kind of the same stuff. Do you want me to try to do kind of uh, Brandon Campbell Diamond where he's kind of putting out the training week in one video and it just kind of shows a few things here and there, not really the accessory work. Let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. I am still working on the squat, squatting for tall guys. I guess I don't want to call it a tutorial, but kind of what I find works for me. That is coming out, but let's uh, stay tuned for some workout footage from today, TSA Week 5, Day 3.
that. So that was set number one in the books. Now usually the way my mentality works is that if you can do the first set, and that felt like RPE, I don't know, six, seven, but the second set's gonna be even better. Third set'll be like the second set, and the fourth set's usually the one that sucks, because you know in the back of your mind that it's just almost over. So, pressing forward. workout training video I got to make this quick because it is pouring down rain outside hopefully you guys can see me if the quality drops for this part of the video I apologize it's because uh, this car I have the interior lighting is like a bunch of LED lights and they're not as bright as you would think so just real quick that guy just blew a stop sign way to go anyway <laughs> so just to recap looking forward to tonight or really not looking forward to tonight four sets of seven at a weight of 325 for squats Got some overhead press in, 125 for two sets of eight, and they did some close grip bench at 210 pounds for three sets of six. Time to go home and crush some protein. Thank you for watching if you stuck along for the whole trip, and I'll talk to you guys next time.